Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. We're at Kiev's Mestetsky Arsenal, a massive art complex. We're here for the annual Contemporary Art Forum. We're joined by artist Maxim Pabreski. Thanks Hello. for joining me. We um, were walking around this massive art complex and I was discussing with some of the artists their work and they said that they had been greatly influenced by the events in the country and they wanted to show and capture these changes in the Ukrainian society which are currently going on. Mm -hmm. Does your work um, capture that as well? In one way or another, we all share the same information sphere, and you can't escape or forget about the war. If you're turning on TV, going online or walking outside, you see and hear and understand that the situation is that there's a war. So yes, most of the work here is greatly influenced by this and other events going on, such as the upcoming elections. Your work, the, these tombstones that uh, represent um, uh, portraits of your, of, of your friends, what were you trying to say with, with that piece of artwork? This work was actually even a bit controversial for me. I was really debating whether to do it. So there are several layers to it. If we go back to the situation in the country, then this work touches on the problems at hand. For example, we have a problem with idealization of heroes in this country. For example, the person who made these tombstone portraits for me actually questioned me for a long time about the people who would be pictured on the tombstones. When I said it would be my friends and they aren't actually dead and this is an art project, he told me, don't lie to me, I'll find out anyway. And I didn't understand at first, but then I found out at the time he was making tombstones for the people who died on Maidan. So it became obvious that people who are alive don't have the right to be on these granite plates. This work questions that. Who has the right to be a hero? And whose portrait can be engraved on a tombstone? This work is basically Facebook but on granite tombstones because these people are alive and the pictures are from their social media pages. And the dates represent when their pictures were published on Facebook. But when people see it, they get scared even though it says the people are all alive. So you were trying to immortalize your friends through their portraits that they have on Facebook. Actually, this is the issue because of the tombstones, they are not going to become immortal. The thing is that our data on Facebook is eternal now. What about your other artwork, this, these um, parking barriers which are put in the, uh, to represent the shape of the Ukrainian mm -hmm. trident? What is that about? Actually, there is a very interesting story there, because right now our main problem is war and the occupied territories. And these events are all happening at a macro level of things, but actually it's also happening at a smaller scale in our country. Most of us have encountered that some people are putting up their own parking barriers to save space for their cars. Basically, they are occupying a piece of land to park their own cars. And neighbors who know who puts up these parking barriers but they don't really do anything about it and just put up with it all. You see, it's the same as what's going on in the bigger scheme of things in our country. What are some of the uh, responses you've received after you went, went public with these recent um, two artworks? Well, we have just showcased our work, so we haven't received a lot of feedback, but I know that while I was working on my tombstone art, a lot of people would get scared. For you, what kind of role do you see artists playing in Ukrainian society? We have a few painters whose opinion is valued and they can influence. But in most cases, artists don't really change people's minds about things, they just work on them themselves. I think that art in Ukraine is not capable right now to influence things. So, so what is the art world in Ukraine? What's it like? And do you, are you fond of it or not so much? I can't say what the bigger picture is because I'm actually relatively new to it and I mostly talk with the new artists. Actually, I like the circle of artists I'm in touch with, but of course, the issue of funding really ruins people's plans. But if the art world was a bit more stable, it would be better. 
Currently, we are all trying to make it work, but then everyone right now is trying to make it work. Okay, well, I think we'll have to end on that note. We're out of time. Thank you for joining me here today. This has been Tamara Rosevan in Kiev for Ukraine Today. Thanks for watching.